Hey everybody, welcome to Ambitions Gymnastics. Um, we are doing an advanced beam workshop today, um, following on from our beginner and our intermediate beam workshops. Um, today we're going to cover a range of skills um, which will progress from those that we've done previously. Um, if you haven't quite mastered the skills at the beginner and the intermediate level, we do recommend that you stick with those for a little while and keep practicing. Um, but if your level is such that you're ready to move on to the advanced skill set, um, then you're going to have lots of fun with this workshop. Um, you'll need something that can simulate a balance beam. If you've got one at home, great. If not, you can always use a plank of wood. You can take um, mark one out on the floor with tape, or you can use some rolled up towels. Okay, just make sure you've cleared away all of your furniture and you're not going to hurt yourself. And um, we're going to get on and have a great workshop. Hope you, hope you enjoy, boys and girls. As with our other workshops, we're going to start with how we get onto the beam. This is called a mount. We're going to do two different mounts today. We're going to do jump half turn onto the beam, and then we're going to do um, jump to straddle on the beam, which might seem easy to start with, but it's actually a bit trickier than it looks. Okay, so we're going to start down with our balance beam. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do a quarter turn, okay? So we quarter. Okay? Um, to get onto the beam. I'm just going to move my beam a little bit more forward just in case um, I wobble a little bit. I don't want to fall into my table. Okay, so we're just going to do a quarter turn. Okay, and you need to make, work out which way it is that you want to turn um, that is your best way of turning so that you don't fall off. Okay, so I'm going to try that again. Just one more quarter turn. Okay, and now I'm going to progress that to a half turn and see how we go. Not so good. Okay, let's try that again, guys. Better, how did you go? Did you manage it? Excellent. Okay, we're going to try that three more times and see how we get on. You might find it a little easier to stand with one foot slightly in front of the other. It's up to you. Number one, let's go again. Whoa! Got to keep my core nice and strong. So, um, you really want to get your head around quickly to and spot something, and you've got to keep your midsection really strong to be able to do this, okay? And a nice one to finish. How did you go? Yeah, did you manage to stay on? If not, that's something you can just keep practicing. If you want to build that up, you can always do a three-quarter turn. Um, and if you're feeling really um, adventurous, you could try a full turn. Again, just make sure you've got um, nothing around that you can fall into. Okay, so the second mount that we're going to do is jump straight off. So we're going to stand on the side of the beam. We're going to put our hands on the balance beam like this. And we're going to jump our feet on to a strut. And we're going to try and keep our hands on the beam. Then we're going to stand up and jump our feet together. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I might turn the beam this way so that you can see. Okay, so hands on the balance beam. Jump our feet into a straddle. Stand up and jump your feet together. Okay? If you want to make that trickier again, you can kick to handstand and try and get your feet down onto the balance beam. I'm not sure how that would go. Okay, that's going to take a bit of practice, but we'll stick with the one that we've got at the moment. Okay, so hands on the balance beam. Jump our feet on. Oh, and I fell backwards. So if the balance beam was higher, I would have probably fallen onto my bottom. Stand up. And jump our feet together. Okay. So there's um, a couple of mounts plus some additional variations that you can do um, in this advanced workshop um, to work on, on getting onto the beam, okay? Your beam mount. Let's move on to some skills on the beam now, guys. So moving on from our mount, we're going to now do some jumps on the balance beam, okay? We're going to do some jump connections. So in our intermediate workshop, I think we did um, two straight jump connections. We might have even added on a tuck jump in... Um, well, no, we didn't, I don't think, because we're going to do straight jump, tuck jump in this workshop, plus straight jump, split jump, okay? So, jump connections are where two jumps are connected directly together, okay? And there are two ways in which you can do those. You can do them a little bit slower, 
or a bit quicker. Okay, to do them slower, we would have an arm swing. So we would do straight jump, tuck jump, okay? Fully connected would be straight jump, tuck jump. Okay, we're going to build up to both of those, hopefully to be fully connected, all right? So we're just going to start by warming up our jumps a little bit. So one foot slightly in front of the other, and make sure that you're not going to hit any light shades when you jump. And we're going to just do straight jump and then tuck jump. Okay? So they weren't connected. They were very two distinct, two very distinct jumps. Okay? So we're going to see if we can now do them slowly with an arm circle, an arm swing in the middle. Okay? So we've got straight jump, tuck jump. Now my knees are turning sideways a little bit. You need to keep everything going forwards in a straight line. I'm going to try that again, just with the slower connection. Straight jump, tuck jump. Okay, good work. Let's try that one more time. Arms up. Straight jump, tuck jump. Okay, we're going to move it on now. And we're going to see if we can do it without the arm swing in the middle. So we're gonna connect the two jumps directly, okay? So, standing on your balance beam. If you don't feel it after your straight jump, stop and reset, okay? Because there's no point in going for the second jump if the first jump has landed badly, or if you know before you even set off for the second jump that you're going to um, fall off, okay? Kind of still did an arm swing, but it was a lot of a, it was a lot quicker connection than the ones previously. Okay, let's try that again. Straight. Whoa. See, I stopped then because there was no point in me going for the second one because my foot was already half off the beam. Okay, so straight jump, tuck jump. Okay, all a bit sideways, but you get the idea. It's the connection is a lot quicker. Let's try that one more time, guys. Straight jump. Tuck jump. Okay, woo! All right, the next one that we're going to do is straight jump, split jump. Okay, um, if you've been in our classes, you will have done these before. Okay, for the straight jump, split jump, make sure I don't kick the sofa. Going straight jump, split jump. And again, we've got the slow option and the, um, and the more connected option. Okay, so let's start with the slower option, straight jump. Helps if your balance beam is straight. Straight jump, whoops, bit of a wobble, and split jump. Okay, I can feel that my split's not as big as it really should be. Straight jump, split jump, and I fell off, but that's okay because it was safe. Let's try again. Straight jump, split jump. Good, okay, we're gonna see if we can connect them together now, okay? so. We'll take our arms out to, after the first one, we'll take our arms out to the side for the split jump. Straight jump, split jump. My legs went a bit starry, but that's okay. It was connected and we stayed on. Straight jump, split jump. Whoa, not so good that time. And I am turning sideways. I'm gonna do it one more time. You guys can practice this as many times as you like to master it. I'm gonna do it one more time with you. Straight, oh. See, my feet turned, I'm gonna start that one again. Straight jump, split jump. Okay, probably not my best effort, but um, I'm sure you guys have done so much better. The idea is we get to full split in our split jump, okay? So you need some really good splits and you need to be practicing your split jump on the floor as well as the connection. All right, let's move on to our next skills, guys. Okay, so we're gonna do some bum to beam skills. Now, okay, this is where our bottom comes in contact with the beam um, and do some skills. Often in more advanced beam routines, um, you're required to have a bum to beam skill. Um, um, and sorry, this is a really good, good, this is really good practice for um, getting up and down off the beam and, um, and seeing how we go. Um, can't guarantee it's going to be awesome, um, but we'll have a try at least. Okay, so what we're going to do for the first one is we're going to see if we can swing our foot in front like this. Okay, and bending our leg, we're going to sit down, lower ourselves down to sit on the balance beam and finish like this, okay? And from here, what we're going to do is we're gonna put our feet together, see if we can turn back up again, okay? 
you, you're, you guys are going to have a go now. Okay, we're going to do three more times of that. Ready? So we're going to kick our foot up in front, bend the leg that's on the balance beam, and we're going to see if we can sit down. That's it, arms out to the side. Okay, if you can stand up in this position, awesome. I can't. Okay, so feet together. You can give yourself a bit of a rock and stand up. The idea would be to keep your knees together when you do it and I'll separate them like I just did. Okay, we're going to do that one more time. No, two more times actually. So kick our foot up in front, bending the leg that we're standing on, sitting down. Oh, wobbled on the balance beam like this. Bring your feet in. Let's see if we can keep our knees together. A little bit better. All right, we've got one more try to master that. Let's see if we can hold it down there. Okay. So kick our foot up, bend the leg that we're stood on, sitting down onto the balance beam, try not to fall, that was better. While we're here, we can put our hands behind us, legs, and hold a V hold, back down, and then stand up to finish. Okay, so that was the first of our bum to beam skills. For the next one, we're going to do a candlestick, okay? I did have a bit of a practice this, of this before the session and I haven't stuck it once. So we're going to see how we go. So for a candlestick, what we're going to do is we're going to stand on the beam. So I'll just show a candlestick on the floor first. So with our candlestick, we're going to sit down. We're going to put our hands behind our head and hold on to the beam. Lift our bum up. Okay, and come back up to a sitting position. You guys have got way smaller bums than me. You should be able to stick it up a lot better, okay? So what we're going to do, so we're going to start standing up, okay? We're going to sit down on the balance beam, knees together. Okay, we're going to go backwards and try and hold on to the balance beam. The faster you keep moving, the easier this is, okay? If you try and lie down on the beam and then stick your bum in the air, it's going to be a bit tricky. So you're best to try and keep moving. So back, up, and then back down. And as you can see, I fell sideways. Let's try that again. Standing up. Up, down onto the beam, sit down, whoops, and hands behind our head, kick up, and then back down, okay? This is a very tricky one. I don't think I'm going to embarrass myself further. You guys can have another try and see how you go, okay? If you master it, send me through a picture or a video. I'd love to see it, okay? We're going to move on to something else in our workshop now. So spins and turns are something that you'll see in most beam routines um, for competitive gymnasts. Um, so it's something that we should try and master early on just to make sure that we're not um, too worried about them or concerned about them and that we get to grips with how they feel. So we're going to do two skills. We're going to do a half half and we're also going to try a full turn. Okay. So for a half half, if you've done one of our previous workshops, you would have done this. Okay. So what we do is we start with one foot up like this arms out to the side, okay, we're going to take that knee out to the side like this, and as we pull it around, we're going to use the momentum or the power or energy to turn us around to face the other way, okay, we want to be on our toe the whole time, and we're just going to finish it after half and put our foot down, okay, so I'm going to be finishing facing the other way, but that's okay, all right, so arms down here to start, we lift our foot up, take our arms up a little bit and knee out to the side, Lift up onto our toe, spin, put your foot down, whoops, and we're going to finish on our tiptoes, okay? We'll try that again. I might turn the beans the other way. Okay, so we start here, one knee out to the side, and half turn and finish on our toes. Okay, how did you get on? Did you manage that? The secret is you have to stay up on your toes when you do the turn, okay? And ideally, you're still on your toe when you stand down like this onto tiptoes. Let's try it again, okay? So flat foot, knee up. We want our knee to be pointing forwards, arms out to the side, knee out to the side, turn. Ooh, and I fell off, okay? That's all right, correct it, and tippy toes. Okay, let's try that one more time. Knee up, out to the side, and down, and hold. Okay, so 
that was our half half turn something that you can practice it's a good one to practice on the floor as well as the balance beam okay because you're going to struggle to do it on the floor if you haven't i mean on the balance beam if you haven't mastered it on the floor okay the next one we're going to do is a full turn okay this is where we spin on our toe all the way around now you might want to get a pair of socks for this one i'm going to go and grab a sock just makes it a bit easier to spin okay so foot out in front okay we're going to turn around the outside of the leg okay we're going to push off the back leg and we're going to and we're going to spin around okay obviously you wouldn't use a sock um, in a competition but it's going to give you a really good it's going to help you spin a bit smoother and it'll just get you the feel of it to start with okay so toe in front arms out and spin okay i'm falling off what we want to do is we want to stretch up at the end and try and hold it okay let's try that again we're going to try three more so foot out in front my back foot is nice and flat have my beach ball and we're going to push up on this foot spin and stick okay we need to try and keep our chests up. I'm a bit falling forwards. Okay, we need to try and keep our chests up, which is going to help us with stick our landing. All right, arms down, point our toe, let's go, spin, up, and off we go. We've got one more, let's try. Arms out, arms down, arms out, and ready, spin, up. As you can see, turns are not my strong point, beam is not my strong point, but you guys, um, can use those to practice um, because they will be a, a skill if you ever go on to do more advanced gymnastics or competitive gymnastics you will need to do turns on the balance beam okay let's move on to something else okay boys and girls so the next two skills that we're going to do in our advanced beam workshop are a handstand stuck full handstand okay and step hop leap hold i think it is i think that's how i say it. step Step, hop, leap, hold, yes, absolutely. So handstand stuck, so full handstand, and then um, step, hop, leap, hold, okay? So we might practice our handstand on the floor first, okay? So our hands are a bit further on the floor, uh, further apart, we need to get them a little bit closer together on the balance beam, so worth practicing on the floor first. Okay, we want our foot to come down reasonably close to our, um, our hands, otherwise we're going to struggle to stand back up again, okay? Let's have a try. So standing onto the balance beam, our hands up. We can start small, okay? We don't want to set ourselves up for falling off straight away. So let's start small, see if we can tap our feet together and then come back down onto the balance beam. Oh, or we could fail miserably, okay? Let's try that again. Okay, and you want to try and get a little bit higher every time that you do it and build your confidence. Don't come down like this, okay? This is going to get into it. You're going to get into a really bad habit doing that, and you're going to struggle to get your feet on the balance beam. You're best off at least tapping the beam with one foot and trying to do a smaller handstand and get your feet on a build up rather than full handstand and feet to the side, okay? So let's try. We'll do three more. Big kick. And back down, okay? And let's go again. Nice big kick. My foot landed in front. I still stayed on the beam, um, but this foot has to land behind, okay? One more, guys. A nice big kick to finish. And again, my foot came in front, but it was actually quite a nice tall handstand. How did you guys get on? To get nice and tall in your handstands? All right, keep practicing that until you feel nice and strong. You've got to have really tight muscles in your handstand or it's, or you, or it's going to feel unsafe and you're going to feel as if you're going to fall off, okay? And you probably will. So squeeze all your muscles, push tall in your handstand and push off the beam to stand up at the end. Okay, the next skill is a step hop leap. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift up, we're going to swing our foot, step hop, and then we're going to leap and land on the other foot. Okay, so we'll start, start at the back, so arms out. Okay, foot down the side like this, other leg nice and strong. I'm going to swing it through, hop when it gets to horizontal, okay? And then jump onto it and hold for one banana, two banana, three banana, okay? So let's put that together, arms out to the side, foot down the side, swing, hop, step, hold. This leg is ever so slightly bent, 
and we want to make sure that our other leg is nice and straight behind us. We've got three more of those to do, guys. Arms out to the side. This foot released. Swing, pop, leap, hold. Okay, really good progression for a split leap on the balance beam. Um, my balance beam here isn't long enough to do full split leaps on, and um, plus I wouldn't probably feel confident doing that, but this is a really good preparation for going from one foot to the other, okay? So let's try that one more time. Arms out, foot down to the side, swing, hop, leap, and hold. And we're not going to finish on that one because it was ugly, so we'll try one more. Arms out, swing, hop, leap, and hold. One banana, two banana, three banana. Okay, let's move on to something else. Okay, for this next part, we're going to practice our balancing. So we're going to do a Y balance to start with. So make sure you know which is your um, standing leg, okay? And we're going to lift the other foot up, put this arm out to the side and try and grab your heel, okay? And we're gonna see if we can lift up to a Y. And we're gonna hold it for one, two, three, four, five. Good work, okay? We're gonna do that two more times, guys. If you want to try the other leg, just to see how you go, you can, okay? It's nice to work both sides and make sure that you have got two good sides rather than one really dominant side. So let's go. One, ooh, I'm not flexible. Two, three, four, five. Ooh, not so good that side. I'll stick to my right side, I think. Okay, so bring your foot up, hold on to your heel and hold. One, two, three, four, five, okay? We want a slight bend in the knee that we're stood on, but not too much, okay? We don't want our knee locked out because it's not good for our joints to do that. We've got one more, guys, okay? So foot nice and sturdy, arms out to the side, lift your foot, hold, and one, two, three, four, five. Good work. Something that you can practice. Practice it with both feet, okay? Um, well done. All right, so the next thing, we've done this before in um, some leg, like leg extension workshop. And we're gonna have our arms down, lift our foot up, and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then the other foot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, we're gonna do that three more times, guys. I'm gonna start at the end we will travel forward ever so slightly. So arms out, lift your first leg and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, we've got two more. I'm just going to shuffle back a little bit. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Well done. How did you get on? Did you stay on the beam? That's a really good one for um, beam balance and core strength. So, and something that you can practice um, a lot of the time. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, but we're going to move on to the next thing now. Moving on from balancing, we're now going to do some acro skills, acrobatic skills, okay? These are um, these are skills like a handstand and a cartwheel where our feet are off the beam and we're, we're traveling through motion, okay? So we're going to do handstand straight jump. So we've got um, a connection there and we're gonna try a cartwheel to stay on the balance beam, okay? So let's start with our handstand straight jump. We've done our handstand um, before, and we've also done our jump connections, but now we're going to we're going to combine those two. Okay, so you're going to come down from your handstand and go straight into a split, a straight jump. We might practice it just on the floor to start with, so that we know what it looks like. So we're going to do handstand, come down, and straight jump straight away. Okay, so let's have a try at that. So standing on the balance beam, making sure you're not going to kick anything above you. Handstand, and I always stuff up my first handstand. Apparently. Ready, let's try that again. I'm a little bit close to my light shade, I think. All right, let's try that again. Handstand and straight jump. Okay, did you see how my foot hovered before I put it down? We want to make sure that as soon as that foot touches, we've got our jump connection going on. Let's have another try. 
Okay, handstand and jump connection. Okay, not a great straight jump on my part, but you get the idea. We're going to try three more guys, okay? Good work, how are you going? Are you getting that handstand nice and high and getting your feet down on the beam and pushing off? You've got to push off with your chest to get yourself upright for your straight jump, otherwise it's not going to stick, okay? Let's go again. And let's not. And it's again. Sometimes you stuff up, okay? You just try again. And we've got one more to do. Fight to stay on the beam. We always fight to stay on the balance beam. Okay, how did you go? That, again, that's something that you can just practice over and over until you feel more confident. All right, we're going to move on to a cartwheel now. Our cartwheels. I'm going to see how we go. I'm going to move my balance beam this way a little bit. Because I know that my cartwheel goes around that side and I don't trust myself to not land on the sofa. Okay, so we're going to start on the balance beam. I could do with a slightly longer balance beam, I think. Okay, and we're going to... I didn't land on the balance beam, okay? It's going to take a bit of practice, okay, to get this one. I've got to really get used to taking our legs right over the top and then coming down on the balance beam. That was a little bit better. All right, how did you guys go? Did you get your feet on? I'm going to try three more times, okay? We want our hands to face the same way as the foot that is in front, okay? And we really want our legs to go right over the top of our heads. If our legs are going to go around the side, we're going to struggle to stay on the balance beam. All right, guys, so you want nice straight legs, pointy toes, and we want our legs going over the top of us. And you need to work up to that. If you, if you can't quite get out on the balance beam, it's worth putting a line down on the floor and practicing on there for a little while, okay? So let's have another go. My legs go around the side because I don't have the flexibility to go over the top. Okay, and let's try one more. And that was a little bit better. I'm going to bet that you guys did way better than me. Okay, but something to practice and something to work on and I can't wait to see them till when we get back in the gym. And to finish off our advanced workshop today, we have to work out how we're going to get off the beam, okay? So we're going to work on a couple of skills um, or preparations for a skill. We're going to work on our straight jump um, dismount, which is something that we covered earlier in, in our beam workshops. Um, but ultimately, we're wanting to be able to do a front somersault off the end of the beam. So we need to get some nice power, okay? The other skill is a cartwheel straight jump. And I'm just going to talk through that. I'm not going to do it because clearly my cartwheels are not ready for it, okay? Um, but I'm going to talk through how you guys could do that um, so that you can practice it. And eventually that will become a cartwheel backwards and a off the beam. Okay? So, we've, um, we want to, what we want to be able to do is we want to confidently run on the beam, jump and straight jump up. Okay? So, that if we were going for a front somersault, um, we would have lots of height. Okay? So, we're going to start back here. We're going to do some nice running steps, feet together, and jump. And you want to try and get as high as you possibly can. Okay? Ready? Nice running steps, and jump. Okay, you want to feel confident in the run um, and in the two-footed jump, and make sure that you're getting your feet together on the end of that beam every time that you do it. Okay? Your chest is up. Your head is high. We don't want to be leaning forwards because if we're leaning forwards when we do a front somersault, the only place that we go is down. Okay, we're going to do those three more. One. Two. Three. Okay. Good job, that's something that you can practice, okay? You could even practice it if you've got a trampoline at home and you've been doing your somersaults, you could always practice a couple of running steps into a front somersault. It's exactly the same as what we're going to be doing for a beam dismount um, when we get back into the gym. Okay, for our cartwheel straight jump um, dismount, what we want to be doing is we want to be finishing our cartwheel at the end of the balance beam, bringing one foot 
foot in and then jumping straight away. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you the other way without the balancing. And then you can practice it on a line is the best place to practice it, okay? So we're gonna start a cartwheel here. I'm gonna do cartwheel, feet together, straight jump off the balance beam, okay? So I wouldn't be recommending that you practice this dismount until you've mastered your cartwheel stuck on the beam and you can stick it five times in a row. If you can do that, you can then start doing a cartwheel where you bring your feet in together, okay? And then take it to the end of the balance beam and then add on the straight jump. But it's something that you can practice on a line, on the floor, until you master it. Um, and I wish you all the very best of luck with all of the skills that we've done today, guys, in our, our advanced balance beam workshop. Remember, stay safe. Please don't do anything that's beyond your capability. Practice makes perfect. Okay, so the more times that you do these things at home, the better that you're going to be and the more prepared to do um, advanced skills once we get back in the gym that you'll be. All right, so have lots of fun. Stay hydrated, keep safe, and make sure that somebody is always watching you. See you soon, boys and girls.